all hail Hypno Toad. He is almighty and ever knowing. He knows what you want for Christmas. That's the, but that's Hypno Toad, guys. What is up, everybody? It's time for some Get Rock Hypno Toad. Get Rock Enchanters right here. Who are we up against? We are giving uh, Gennaro Sura of War. Put a plus one counter on Gennaro. Okay, sounds like fun. Let's get get, get Rog up right there. So we've got uh, Ancestral Mass and Constant Miss, Edge of Autumn. Yeah, I like this. We're gonna keep. Ancestral Mask is uh, very good in this uh, Gitrog Enchantress. Yeah, this is, uh, you're taking the card drawing engine of Gitrog and adding, adding the Enchantress card drawing engine. Ooh, our opponent, uh, looks like he's going to have to mulligan. Hopefully he didn't have to mulligan before. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. I had to uh, clear my throat real quick. But yeah, this uh, constant miss in Gitrog allows us to just do a lot of fun stuff. You know, keep sacking and land drawing. Uh-oh. Can't be good. Opponent misses land drop. So let's go, um, we're going to go forest. Get down groundskeeper. And then we're going to pass it. Hopefully our opponent gets gets into uh, some mana. It's not fun, man. Maybe he's got a good hand. But yeah, this is, uh, so we're looking, looking to put as many enchantments on Gigrog as we can. He eats our lands and, you know... We don't know what the side effects are of eating forests and swamps, so I wouldn't imagine they'd be too good for your health. So let's go ahead and... Um, we can go on Edge of Autumn right now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's swing in for one right now. We're not above swinging in with Groundskeeper. He likes to get in there sometimes, drop him to 39. And then we'll go on Edge of Autumn right now. And then since we have Swamp and Polluted Delta, we're probably just going to go ahead and grab a Forest right now. And then next turn, we'll get down Swamp, get down Traverse, get that extra land. And we can save this, uh, if we do Traverse, we can save this land right here for Gitrog. So we'll play it, and whenever we sack it, we're going to get to draw an extra card. Yeah, it's, it's, I enjoy playing Commander, but it's always a bummer when your opponent has to mulligan. And it looks like he's a little tight on mana right now, which is uh, it's not fun. Oh, there you go. He hits his second land drop. Good for him. <laughs> We're going to come in hot again with Groundskeeper. Man, this is the happiest day of his life, man. Normally he's in there to return lands to our hand, but uh, he gets to get in for some combat damage. All right, so we're going to swing in for one. Dropping down to 38. Now we've established a clock. We've got uh, 38 more turns, and we will win the game for sure with Groundskeeper. But right now, let's get down. Let's go ahead and get down Woodland Cemetery and Traverse. I'm grab another forest. We don't have too many black enchantments, uh, and then the ones that we do have, we can just kind of keep up our dual lands. But we'll be online for Gitrog next turn, and we'll get an extra card draw from this Polluted Delta. So the reason I'm saving this Polluted Delta is whenever we get down Gitrog, we can play it, and when we sacrifice it, that goes to the graveyard, and we get to draw an extra card. So uh, Gitrog turns all your fetch lands into card draws, which is... Uh, I like it. Gitrog is a very fun commander to play with. Um, some of the control builds I've played against, they're, they're pretty solid, man. They're pretty impressive. But uh, as far as a commander goes, Gitrog is just... I don't, like we've got Get Rock and Changes right here. This is uh, he's just a very fun commander that you can just do different stuff with. I've seen uh, like heavy wasteland type builds. I've seen um, just really crazy like graveyard strategies, reanimation. So it's just he enables a lot of things and it's a lot of fun. So uh, we've used him to combine the Enchanter's card engine, card drawing engine. So it's it's a lot of fun. So we're going to get down Gitrog. Let's play this. Uh, <laughs> we're trying to curse flesh. So let's get down. Uh, we'll get down Forest. Get down Gitrog. Coming in hot, man. And with Groundskeeper, when we start sacking our basics to uh, Gitrog, we can start returning them back to our hand. Very nice utility creature to have in here. And we're going to see if Gitrog sticks. And once he sticks, we'll get down Polluted Delta. And then, yeah, let's get on Polluted Delta, crack that. So we're going to draw a card. Idle on a Blossoms, all right. Got a little card draw engine right there. Beautiful. So we're going to grab, uh, go and grab uh, Bayou. And we're going to uh, put Cursed Flesh on uh, our Gitrog. <laughs> so all these enchantments, I, uh, I went to the card bot and, 
you know, paid about a penny extra to get the uh, foil version of it. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm not, I'm normally not a foil person, but uh, it's fun. I enjoy it. It's fun to bust out some foil cards every once in a while. I will say though that when people when I play against somebody who has an all foiled out deck, even though I would never do that, but uh, it's not that I'm above it. I just, um, as far as money wise, I just, you know, I would rather put that towards other cards I could get. But seeing an all foiled out deck, man, that's uh, I'm not gonna lie. You get a little magic. You see that all foiled out deck, you're like, all right, man, that that is pretty sweet. Okay, so as far as the next turn goes, we're gonna be able to play swamp. We're going to have to sack a land, draw a card. So at least we're going to be online for the same amount of mana because we'll sack and play the Swamp. So we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we can get down Eidolon for 4. Uh, we're just going to need to draw into another card to get down Ancestral Mask. Because once we, once we get down Eidolon, if you're not familiar, uh, whenever another enchantment enters the battlefield, we get to draw a card. So we have all these auras that we're sticking on Gitrog. But at the same time, we have some nice utility uh, enchantments that we put on the on the battlefield like uh, Burgeoning and Sylvan Library, Dark Tutelage. So uh, I love Blossoms is a really good way to amplify the uh, the card draws. Alright, so we're going to sack a Forest right now. And if we don't draw anything, we can use Groundskeeper to return it back to our hand to play an extra land. I want to get down uh, Eidolon right now. So let's get down Eidolon. But our opponent bounced back really nicely from having to mulligan down to four. He's got his mana base. That's pretty good. We're going to draw a card. Ooh, Realms Uncharted. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is play the Swamp, and we're going to go ahead and return the Forest back to our hand. And then next turn, we can get some uh, good action going. But I'm going to cover Realms Uncharted in here just a second. Realms Uncharted is awesome in a Gitrog deck. So we're going to play this Forest. Uh, nothing else to do. Okay. Now it has Fear. And it can only be like art by artifact creatures, so we're gonna go and swing in right now with Gitrog. Coming in hot, man. This is one of those times where I, I'm not trying to go for a Gitrog combat damage win, but it's just kind of you know part of the game. Oh, we get Vincered. <laughs> okay. And yep, he bounces Gitrog back to her hand. All right, we're okay with that. At least we have, we have Eidolon on the battlefield, and we also have Constant Mist, so if he gets like a real nice army over there, we can just start sacking lands. With Constant Mist, uh, we can do the buyback of sacking a land. So that combos with Gitrog, or synergizes with Gitrog to where uh, you can cast it, prevent all combat damage, sack a land, that hits a graveyard, you draw a card off Gitrog. So there's, there's lots of stuff you can do with Gitrog, little cards that are just awesome in a deck like that. Now, Realms Uncharted. Realms Uncharted is awesome in Gitrog, so no matter what version of Gitrog that you're doing, Realms Uncharted is where it's at, man. So basically what it equates to is search your library for up to four lands with different names, reveal them. So you're going to get two into your hand, two are going to hit your graveyard, so you're going to need to go draw cards from Gitrog. So it basically equates to uh, get two lands and draw two cards, which is uh, really good, and especially if you have Life from the Loam. Oof, yeah. But Realms Uncharted, it's one of those cards that you may not know about it until you play with it in a certain commander deck where it really shines, and uh, Realms Uncharted is really good in there. Pretty much in control builds, graveyard builds, whatever. So it's, it's always good in uh, Gitrog. Okay, so swing it in for five right now, and I'm pretty sure that's just five commander damage that we've been dealt. All right, five commander damage. Definitely want to keep up with that. Don't want to lose to commander damage. Give him a little Orzov D20 going over here. Okay, so we're gonna go and get down Gitrog. Let's play Rogue's Passage. Okay, so I'm not really too worried about destruction with the totem armor. But I may want to save Ancestral Mass just in case he has like a disenchant or something like that. So I'm going to go and get down Boar Umbra on Gitrog. And we're going to wait till maybe we can close it out with an like Ancestral Mask at the last minute. Maybe he's tapped out or something like that. So I'm going to draw a card off Eidolon. Hopefully it's a land, then we'll be able to play it. Nope, Sylvan Scrying, but we'll take Sylvan Scrying. Now, I do have Dark Depths and Thespian Stage in here. So, probably next turn we're going to try and set up a Realms Uncharted, see what we can get into. 
we already have one of our good utility lands for this deck, and that's Rogue Passage. So with Rogue's Passage, we can uh, pay four colorless and make get Rog unblockable. Stick a bunch of enchantments in there. But if we're doing enchantment math right now, so we can get down. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's five right there. Six, seven, eight. Well, eight mana. Sack a land. Go to seven. So we'll actually have enough to get down Bear Umbra and Ancestral Mask. And so he's going to go from a 9-9 to an 11-11. Then it's get plus 2, so it's going to be plus 6. So it'll be a 17-17 um, get rock. And now we haven't dealt commander damage yet because he bounced it back to our hand. But we can make get rock up to a 17-17 next turn. But yeah, I like to keep uh, track of commander damage with a D20. Uh, next to my computer, but sometimes I'll just like as a nervous tick, I'll pick it up and start playing with it. So I have to like <laughs> leave it far in front of me because it, uh, you know, if I pick, I'm trying to keep track of something to die and I'm playing with it, it defeats the purpose. But I just I love thinking about Gitrog. You know, he's the frog. He's in the swamp. He just ate somebody. But at the same time, he has this like boar aura surrounding him. <laughs> Like, if you were taking a stroll through the forest and you saw this frog with this, like, aura of a boar on it, oh, man. <laughs> I'd probably be like, what is, what's going on, man? So he's getting out of Court of Calling for four. I'm curious what that could be. You know, if it was the two slot, it could be something that could destroy some of our artifacts. <laughs> Gilded Drake. <laughs> He gets our get rug, okay. Now, if he's gonna do that, he's gonna start sacking all his lands. <laughs> Come in for five, that's gonna be ten commander damage. Alright, we can get out of this. Let me make sure I understand uh, Gilded Drake. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so we, we just switch right now. But we are at ten commander damage. Okay, we get into Misty. Now we can Realms Uncharted. Trying to get a Dark Depths going. But we need to set it up to where... Let's go for Realms Uncharted. See if we can get into some Dark Depths. He may pitch it into the graveyard, but let's just see. Maybe we can grab some other fast mana, and he doesn't want us to have that. Okay, so let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. So if we let's grab Ancient Tomb. Let's go Thespian Stage. Let's go Urborg. I don't want to grab Dark Depths because if we grab Dark Depths, he'll just chunk it into the graveyard. So but if we get into Life from Lum, we can get into it. But right now, I think that's what... We need to grab one more, though. Let's grab a... Uh, we'll grab a Drowning Yard Temple. Okay. What we're hoping for is Thespian Stage. Maybe he thinks we're going to copy some extra land over here. And then if he does, if we do get Thespian Stage, then we can get into some uh, Sylvan Scrying action. But let's let's see what he chooses. But normally a two would hit the graveyard and we get to draw two off Gate Rock. That's that's how good this card is in this deck right here. Oh, he ch yep, chunks uh, Thespian Stage. He knew he knew, uh, he knew what was going on. So let's get down. Now if we play Ancestral Mask, we're still gonna get that bonus from Boar Umbra. Or from yeah, from Boar Umbra. So we could start uh, plugging away at Eidolon of Blossoms. But Get Rock is Dead Touch, so if we try to do that, then he's just going to swing in and do that. I think what we might do is... Uh... Yeah, go and get down Ancient Tomb. We might have to start to uh, Constant Miss for a little bit. And if we can draw into like Life from the Loam, that'd be good. Or draw into one of our Tutors. We can just start putting our enchantments on Eidolon to start drawing cards. Yeah, I'm not opposed to that. Let's give it a shot. I 
Because I definitely want to draw into something. Since he has our Git Rog, we need to just get the only card drawing engine that we have going. So yeah, let's get some Eidolon going. Seal of Primordium. He'll come in for five. That'll be ten. That'll be fifteen commander damage. Come in for nine. I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, let's cast Seal of Primordium. We're gonna draw another card, Ranker. Yeah, I'm gonna go and put Ranker on the uh, Eidolon. We have to draw another card. Let's see, Cultivate. Yeah. Okay, that's that's good for now. Now, if we get down Ancestral Mass, it's gonna count the Boar Umbra. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five. So we're looking at giving Eidolon will be a sixteen. Of 16 power. <sighs> but let's let's see what he does, because if we don't get into something next turn, then we can just start constant miss, because we'll be okay on land drops for right now. <laughs> but w what a good quarter calling right there for the uh, Gilded Drake to grab Gitrog. We do have a Hexproof enchantment that's Alpha Authority, but other than that, there's not much out there in this as far as the enchantments go. But he's only got two cards in, so let's see what he does. Probably going to swing in, get Rog and Janara. Just Janara. Okay, so that's going to be 15 commander damage right there. And he gives it plus one counters. We're looking at one, two. We're looking at three counters, so I'll put it at eight, which will put us at 18 commander damage. And then once we get past that, we'll just start uh, using Constant Mist. So this should be, if he puts one more, that's going to be 18 commander damage. Let me double check. This is going to be 17 commander damage. There we go. He didn't put that last counter on there. Okay. And we can also use Seal of Primordium to take care of his Skull Clamp if he gets into some a bunch of little tokens or something like that. Oh, okay. We get to draw into Enchantress. Okay. Let's get her down. Yeah, let's go Ancestral Mask on Eidolon. We're going to be drawing uh, two cards from that. Whenever we cast it and whenever we draw one. And we just need to leave up um, two mana for constant miss. That's what we need to do. So, uh, drawing into this is really good because we'll get to draw two more cards. Okay, so let's get down burgeoning. <laughs> Drawing the primal frenzy. I will take that. I'm gonna draw another card, and then we can also play misty. Let's get down. Let's go and sack this so we don't draw another land. Let's grab a forest. And let's go Vampiric Link. Once again, we just need to save up two mana. <laughs> draw into Cover of Darkness. And give him fear. Can't be blocked except by artifact creatures or black creatures, which he does not have. <laughs> we draw the <into> predatory urge. <laughs> okay, so we have a couple options. So I think right now I love predatory urge. It's such a fun card. Um, he could have a counter spell. He's only got one card in hand. So now if we get down predatory urge, we can make it fight. But he has death touch, so get rog would deal death touch, kill him. We can take out his commander, and that'll slow him down. But I almost like Constant Miss more. So let's get down Cover of Darkness, and we need to name Spirit. And he doesn't have any Spirits, no. We're going to get down Cover of Darkness. Draw two cards. Same Spirit. Let me double check. Yeah, Spirit, Spirit, okay. And we'll go and get down Mana Crypt. Well, it's not crucial that we get down Mana Crypt. It's okay, yeah, we'll go and get it down. 
Okay. So we have enough mana for constant mist to block. And then next turn we're going to have one, two, three. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we might be able to close it out with the uh, Eidolon next turn. Okay, I'm liking this. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> Alright, we're going to uh, chunk Drown Yard. There we go. So he's going to have to sack a land. Now it's 20. We got a 22 20 right now. And it's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8. Make it a 30. Alright, so he, he finally sacks, uh, <laughs> he sacks the Get Rock. We get him back. And we should be able to. Yeah, if we constant miss, swing in with the, get, uh, the Drake. Because we, we can even make the Drake unblockable. L let's see what shakes down right now first. Factor Fiction, okay. Let's go... Let's go Conse Consecrated Sphinx. Now, I may do it like this just because... I'd rather him maybe go for lands with Sylvan Library, access to that, and he has enough to get down Consecrated Sphinx. So if he takes that, then he'll spend a whole turn casting it, where he may feel obligated to take all the lands with the Sylvan Library. Okay. Okay, so he does take Consecrated Sphinx, so yeah, I like that. Now we'll have to spend a whole turn casting it. Now, so we have Constant Mist, we're going to cast Constant Mist whenever he swings into attack. Because we have 17 commander damage. Especially if he's tapping out right now. I like that. <laughs> the only thing we're missing from this hand. We've got Predatory Urge. We just need Druid's Call to get, you, get a bunch of Squirrel Tokens. <laughs> but look at this Motley crew we've got over here. We've got a Groundskeeper. We've got a Spirit Enchantress. We've got a Gilded Drake over here somehow. Condus out of our own Gitrog. Snake Oil Salesman over. Hey, i got this nice Drake for you. And we got the Enchantress right there. Yeah, I like this. So, um, I'm feeling pretty good. Let's see what he does, though. And we can even... We have four mana, so we can buy back... Okay, so he Skull Clamps. Okay. Draw two cards. Now, like, the sweet spot right now is it has Fear and Trample, which we're going to be able to swing in anyway. Uh, the sweet spot is trying to get him, get Eidolon, not him, her, get her high enough to where maybe we can give Gilded Drake unblockable too, have him coming in hot. Because we're going to have, let's see how much mana we're going to have. We're going to have two for Mana Crypt, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're going to have thirteen mana, so we, we, can get some, uh, we can get some spells cast next turn. I'm at 17, man. Okay, so he, he's going for that. Going for the Swords of Plowshares on our Drake. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, sure, go for it. I'm going to gain two life. <laughs> or three life. How much, whatever Gilded Drake was. Alright, so he's swinging in for 7. We're going to cast Constant Mist with Buyback. So we got green right there. And then we're going to go ahead and sack a, we'll sack a Forest. Prevent all combat damage. Goes back to our hand. And he's tapped out. So let's see, see what we get into. We're going to choose Tails. One the flip, one for one for our Mana Crypt Triggers. Okay, now if we cast Heartless Summon, he's going to take away, but it'll give a bonus. Um, but we'll lose both of our creatures, so I don't want to do that. So let's, right now, let's get down Primal Frenzy. We're going to be drawing two cards. Let's uh, get down... Let's go Regeneration. So 
So he's going to be a 24-22, draw another card. We can get down Dark Tutelage. Let's get down, actually, let's get down Soul Channeling. Tap this Mana Crypt, there we go. Draw another card. Now, we can try and get another enchantment down. Predatory Urge, we've got one, two, three, four, and we'll still have enough for Constant Mist next turn. Let's get on Windswept Heath. Now, if we get down... Yeah, the sweet spot is... Uh, he's, he's got three cards in hand. Um... Huh. And let's go. Yeah, we're gonna say I'm gonna get down Dark Tutelage. See if we can get into that. We're gonna draw two more cards. All right, get into Spider Umbra. And then hold on, let's crack this windswept heath real quick. Grab a forest. Cast it on Eidolon. And Okay, so if we cast Lure, we'll have just enough mana to swing in because it has fear, tree Yeah, let's go. Let's go for lure right now. Man, look at all those enchantments. All right, we made it. We're at 33. All right, so we're going to come in hot. <laughs> Look at that idol on. All right, we close it out just enough with 33. Oh man, that that was uh <laughs> That was a lot of fun. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. We didn't get a Get Rock win, but we still got an Idol on a Blossoms win, so uh sounds good to me. All right, guys, like and subscribe.